Hey Mark, uh, that quote you did for Doug, uh, can we change line one to uh, three pieces and line number four to 14 inches? Got it. Making changes to an existing quote doesn't necessarily mean starting over. Let's look at a few ways that we can make changes to an existing quote in the MyRio Tem system. From the list of quotes, choose the one you're looking for to update. By the way, did you notice that you can name your quotes? It's a great way to keep track of which quotes are which. Let's start with the easiest one and make changes to quantity. Change the quantity in the box, then click Update Quantity button down here at the bottom. Now, if you want to remove the line item completely, click the Remove button here. Next, let's tackle the change in stem length. Here in item four, we're going to click Edit Replace, and that will take us back to the configurator page that we built this part number in. From here, you can scroll up to step number two and change the stem length. Depending on the model type, you may have to complete additional steps from here. When you click Add to Quote, your newly configured item will replace the item you had selected. When adding a new item to the quote, here's a trick I often use. Let's say line item 2 in this quote is identical to this item except with a different dial range. You can copy and paste the item, put it in the search field, copy it in, change the range, hit Enter. It will configure it, and all you have to do is hit Add by Metal Thermometer alone to quote, and it'll be added with the change you needed and the correct drawing for the part number that you've just configured. If you're feeling extra confident, you can try this trick as well. Using the part number search like we did before, in this case, take the pressure gauge, copy it into the search part number, add two forward slashes, take the diaphragm seal, add that after the slashes, change your range code to whatever it is you need, hit enter, and it will configure the entire seal assembly. Add assembly to quote, and you have a seal assembly added with a new range code. Be very careful when using this tool, as the search feature bypasses many of the compatibility safeguards in the configurator, so it's possible you can search for an item that cannot be physically built. But if you're confident in your part number skills, then search away. We hope these tips have been helpful and that they've encouraged you to use the configurator again and again. Thanks for watching.